just today. Today, I'm watching an interview on MSNBC. Of course, everyone's remote now. And it's like this person, like this important person, like this dignitary is giving this interview. And their audio was horrible. It was terrible. And I'm like, why? Hello, a microphone. Like nobody called that dude up and was like, hey, got a microphone? Like a lap? Got something? You need something. You got something? It's crazy to think that you and I know more than those people that are on national TV. The mount that it comes on is its own little shock mount, and right now I'm shaking the microphone. And I don't know if you can hear that. It's one of those things that doesn't look like it's going to give any absorption at all, doesn't look like it's going to help, but somehow it is. Here's another tip for you. If you're recording and you're not in a well-treated area, you don't have carpets, maybe you got a few things, but your audio is still sounding quite echoey and, and horrible, what I recommend you do is get a few acoustic panels like this. They're just 12 by 12, two inch acoustic panels. And you can build your own little isolation shield, just like this. They fit in so nice and put them on your desk or wherever your microphone is and listen to the difference with the audio. If I bring these isolation shields up, it's going to make an incredible difference with the audio. No isolation shield, isolation shield. Okay, you don't know because I'm sure I just cut all of this out, but apparently isolation shield is quite a little bit of a tongue twister for me. I just had to say it like 20 times.